Hi everyone, I'm back. Today I want to give you a tutorial on how to do um, highlighting and contouring with our blending buds, these cute little things, and our BB Flawless Cream. This one, and then I dropped the other one. Here we go. So I've always been a little scared to do some highlighting and contouring. I thought it was a little above my league. There's no way I can ever make this look right. I'm gonna look like a clown. And I really didn't wanna do that. So um, I started watching some videos, started listening to some other people and decided, you know what, I'm gonna try this. And while I am no makeup professional or makeup expert by any means, <laughs> Um, I am finding that this is actually simpler to do than I imagined. So, like I said, we will be using the blending buds. We'll be using that for when we start blending. And I apologize, this video might be a little longer um, because there's a lot to show you. <laughs> now, when I do this myself, it doesn't take this much time, but I want to take some time to make sure I'm explaining everything to you guys. I will also be using two different colors of our BB Flawless Cream, which is our tinted moisturizer. I will be using um, the shade Cream. This is our lightest shade. And also Caramel. Now when picking out your shades for this, you wanna make sure you're going um, one to two shades lighter and darker than what you normally use. I normally use a color called Honey in the BB Flawless Cream, and so these are the ones that match for me. Now, keep in mind, we aren't aiming to skin match here, we aren't aiming for that, but when you blend them together, which you guys will see, it comes off really nicely. So, to apply it, I'll be using my concealer brush, and then I will be using the blending buds to blend. So, first, let's start with a highlight color. Now, remember, this you want to put everywhere where you have um, areas that you want to highlight <laughs> to keep it pretty simple. Um, you're just going to take and, sorry, shake it up. Make sure you always shake it up. You want to apply those highlight areas to the areas that you want to highlight um, and bring forward, make people notice more. So I am just going to put some on my hand, okay, just like that. And then we are going to start drawing. And the first place is you're going to make kind of a triangle underneath your eye and up. And then you're just gonna kind of fill that in. And I apologize, I'm using this phone as my mirror so I can't see quite perfectly so I may be looking over to my other mirror at times. Just like that. Do the other side. And I really love our BB creams, especially for the summertime. Because they are those tinted moisturizers, they don't feel as heavy as some other makeups kind of can. All right. Then you want to, ooh, we're looking fun already. You just wait. There we go. All right, then we're gonna go up to our T-zone and you're gonna do kind of a fan shape. Now keep in mind, everybody's face shape is a little different. This is what I find works for mine. Sorry, move my hair out of the way. So we are just doing kind of that fan shape right up there. And then you're gonna come down the tip of your nose. Just like that. And then kind of into your T-zone. So you can go kind of a little bit down here. I kind of like my chin, so I don't mind bringing that forward. If there are some of you that don't like yours, don't worry about that, you can hide that. <laughs> And then right in the Cupid's bow. This will help to bring those lips and make them look a little more full. Then you will also go right kind of along your jawline here. Okay. And 
And I'm sorry, I'm hoping you guys can see this. Oh yeah, I know, we are looking fun. All right, and I put way too much on my hands. See, look at how much I have left. <laughs> Oops. But I am just gonna add a little bit here. In those V areas. All right, and I forgot to mention to you guys before I started, I had nothing on my face except for my moisturizer and primer and my eye makeup. My eye makeup is done. Um, but other than that, you don't put any found you don't have to put any foundation on over this uh, before this. You can, but you certainly don't have to. All right. So then there's the highlighting. Fun. I know, right? <laughs> All right, next we go to the contour color. And like I said, mine is a color called Caramel. Shake that up again. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, and then you're going to put some of this on your hand as well. Just like that. Well, maybe. Sorry, a little bit of tough technical difficulty here. All right, give me one second. All right, sorry about that. A little bit of technical difficulties, but you're going to take your darker color, put that right there. See, nice glob size. And you are going to go on everywhere that you want to contour, kind of create those shadow looks. All right, so the first place I go since I kind of have a big forehead is just right around my hairline and don't worry we will be blending all this out kind of like face painting for adults so it's kind of fun take that down kind of giving your face that heart shaped look and like I said, each face is a little different, so where you put the stuff, you might just have to kind of play around with a little bit. Now, I also like to slim down my nose, so I'm going to put some right in here. And right underneath. Kind of like that. <laughs> Oh boy, good thing my husband isn't in here watching me do this or he'd be laughing his butt off at me right now. All right, then we wanna go right where underneath, you kinda go from the top of your ear down to kinda by the corner of your mouth and then I usually stop where my pupil is. And this is that contour line in there. Kinda to make those cheekbones stand out. Okay, then also along kind of the bottom, I have these double chins that I want to get rid of. So to make that jawline appear a little more chiseled, bring this down and around to this side. Like so. Bring that down a bit. All right, and then just kind of touch up any areas that you have kind of missed. All 
I kind of go a little bit more in by my temples there as well. And a little bit under here. And then I also do a little bit right under here. just to give that appearance to that fuller lip. All right. So now we are to the blending stage. Woohoo, look at this. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry, we aren't done. So like I said, we're gonna use the blending buds. Now these best work when they are damp. So you wanna always put them in some water. Sorry, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Get them to soak up that water because you want the product to stay on your face, not get soaked into these buds. Which, by the way, these things are fantastic. I love these things. All right, wring them out. And then I also usually just take a towel and I will kind of squeeze them in there. Now, I use the purple one for kind of the bigger areas and the pink one for smaller areas and especially these tips are great for getting into fine areas. So now here's the key. Let the blending buds do the work for you. So you're just going to take and simply start dabbing. I'm kind of doing those highlighted areas first. Dab, 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 dab. And you can see how well that is blending out already. I'm sorry, I know the light's getting a little wonky on us here. Okay, then we're gonna move to, I'm gonna use my smaller one and come along right along my hairline here and start blending this. Okay, then we'll come over here. along the side of the nose. Come over and do this side. And then down underneath. A bit right under there kind of blend this down a bit all right and we are blended look at that guys okay now the thing that you want to always make sure that you do is kind of make sure you set this with a powder you can use our um, Mineral Touch Press Powder. Today I'm actually using our Mineral um, Concealer, which is like a loose powder in the color Foxy. So I am just going to tap some of that and I'm using my big powder brush. Tap some of that into the lid and just a little bit on the brush. And by the way, yes, my brushes are back. I'm so excited. 
And then just kind of gently tap that all over to help set. I kind of like this one because it's a little bit more luminous. It kind of keeps some of that dewy look still for you. Now, there's one other step. It's not necessary, but I like adding just a little bit of extra kind of highlighting, especially along my cheekbones, because I tend to have such a round face. So I use our eye pigment, sorry, in the color Curious. I don't know if you guys can see that, if it'll focus. This is kind of a really light off-white um, shimmer color. See? And I just tap a little bit of that out into the lid. And I take my finger. And I just put some right up here by my eyes. And then also some kind of right along my cheekbone, which... Sorry, that light's kind of getting in the way again. Just to add some of that extra. Kind of bright, luminous finish. All right, so voila. Highlighting and contouring with the BB cream as well as our blending buds leaves you with this awesome flawless finish. I will be posting before and after pictures tomorrow so you guys can see those differences. But I really love the way this brings out the facial features, gives you some contours, gives you some definition back to your face. So if you guys have any questions, as always, please feel free to message me and I will get back to you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.